Hi Drowser Cuties! Today we're going to draw a milkshake, so let's get started. To draw this milkshake, we're going to first start by drawing the top of our glass. So right here, I'm just going to start with a curve. And I'm going to stop about right there because I know there's a um, drip of um, cream right here, of froth I mean for the milkshake. So I'm going to stop right here and draw that. So it's just a big curve that comes down and goes back up. So if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and draw the curve all the way across first. So about right there, I'm going to stop and continue my curve. And say about right there, I'm going to stop again because there's another small trip. And now I can go ahead and finish off my glass right here. So about right there, okay. Fix my curve a little bit. Okay, so then from there, I'm going to come over right here to the edge and round it off and bring in an angle line. So same thing over here. So nice thick glass. And I'm going to bring it in a little bit right there. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and connect it and following my top curve. All the way across. There. Okay, so then now I can draw the edge of my glass. I'm going to bring an angle line down. So about right here, I'll start. And I'm going to bring it all the way down for a nice big glass. about that much I'll stop and then I'm going to round off the bottom and connect it there and then let's come inside right here I'm just going to give it an edge I'm just going to follow my outside line basically Okay, so there, now I have the glass in. I'm gonna come back up here and draw a bunch of curves for the top of my milkshake. So I'm gonna start right here on the edge and draw a curve. So make it nice and frothy. Big mound right here. Just gonna keep going. And say about right here in this area, I'm gonna stop and just draw a curve for my cherry. in here for the top, the curve, and let's bring out the stem. So it's just a curve that comes out of it and just thicken the end. Let's finish it up right here and bring it back onto this side. And so right here, let's finish off this cherry. I'm just going to add two curves right under it. So it looks like the cherry is tucked inside. And then from there, you can go ahead and just draw a bunch of smaller curves here and there just to give it some texture. Yum, right? <laughs> and if you want, you can add some circles here and there for some sprinkles. You can never have too many sprinkles on anything, right? So here and there, I'm going to add a circle. Okay, so then now let's draw the straw. I'm going to stick a straw out here. So I'm going to just draw two angle lines. And then I'm going to curve it. So curve this part. And then in this area, I'm just going to connect it for the part where it bends. And just add two lines inside. And then continue. And connect it right here, soft curve. 
So there, I got my straw in. Now let's bring this milkshake to life. So if you want, you can add some eyes right here. So I'm gonna come about right here towards the edge and draw two circles. And same thing on this side. And let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. Okay, so same thing on this side. There, so I have the eyes in. I'm gonna to come to the top of each eye and just draw a little curve on top. And then in the center right here, give a snap, sweet, happy smile. And if you want, you can add cheeks when you're coloring it and add some darker panels towards the back to give our um, glass some grooves. It's all up to you. Or you can just leave it as is and just color it in whatever uh, flavor milkshake you love. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Drastic Cute videos. See you later.